Hello everybody. Um, I'm just doing a quick review of the Flashback Express 5 recorder. I've never used this before. Uh, I was using another software. Oh, let me just get it up on here for you. Right, let me get rid of that one. Because you don't need that. Um, this one here is what I was using before. I'll open it up. Uh, this one came with Chrome. Oh, right, so I've got to sign back in. Uh, back in. Oh, yeah. Just click on that. Got a whole load of nonsense here. Mm, can't remember where it was. Mm, yeah. Let's see if I can log back in. So I've logged back into my account. Here we go, we're getting started. <laughs> This is the, um, let me tell you what it is, Screen Custify Light. Um, it's actually not bad. I've used it a few times. Um, but the one thing I've noticed, the, the, the sound quality hasn't always been very good when you're just using the computer. So that's when you then have to really invest in a a good quality um, microphone or a microphone um, but if you just want to do something quickly and not be getting out the mic and plug it in you want something to be able to record the sound uh, you know get a good sound out um, and so this is the you know flashback express 5 recorder so this is the menu here doing some recording before um, it's actually quite nice as you can see there's a lot of features on here the the one thing I'm not really quite sure about is it says it's free I think for 30 days but then uh, how much is it I don't know um, I haven't really checked the price I mean if after 30 days it goes into a sort of very basic mode, then that's fine. If it doesn't, then I'll be going back to the screen Castify. Um, I'll just have to invest in a, a good quality microphone. Because um, it does work. Um, but this one actually is, uh, I prefer. Uh, I've only just used it. Yeah, it seems to, it's pretty quick. Loads up pretty fast. I mean, here's a few. Here's the menu. So you've got record, open, close, save, the usual things, export. You've got screenshot. You've got share properties. Um, you can adjust, I suppose, for full screen view, full screen view, flame bar, etc., etc. So you've got all these. You go into movies, so you can do play, um, play back speed at various speeds. If you want to quicken it or reduce it, you got forward, back, uh, first frame, last frame, etc., etc. Uh, you got a sound option here. Let's click on that. Uh, play back. Edit exporting. Select the audio device to be used for sound playback. So it's going to be default sound device. Um, just leave it on there for the time being. So I'll just click on OK. And then you've got effects.
uh, highlight cursor. So this is the thing that I like. Um, about this is that you know this cursor thing here I'm hoping you see it um, this is where you come to to you know change the color of it um, we can probably make it blue um, if we wanted to um, just leave it as it is uh, so yeah, yeah. So even though, and then you, you could. This is the transparency amount that you want. Uh, draw border around highlight. I suppose a little border around the highlight here. That's what they're talking about. So. I like that. So there, there's the that's the the actual, which is quite nice. Um, go to the tools, player option. Right. So you've got uh, playback return to start a movie when ended. Auto play movies open from the open menu. Then uh, menu item or button. Auto play movies operate. Open for Windows Explorer. Um, automatically check for updates once a day. You've got privacy settings and you've got advanced. Right, show menu item to show classic bar. Uh, memory usage. The more memory flashback Express Player uses, the better its performance in certain tasks but less memory is available for other applications set the amount of memory to use high best performance max maximum memory used medium good performance less memory used low uh, less performance least memory used show low memory warning uh, rendering Software, so let's see what's in that menu. Direct X GDI, right? Okay, change this if you have a problem with the performance image and so on. So on. And then you've got the help, so you've got support upgrade to pro. You can just check to see if there's an update. So click on that. No no updates found you have your copy drivers up to date so close it down yeah so you've got all these other th you can save straight to straight away that's the files that was, you know you can open up this is the share button so let's click on that to see what it shares to right so as you can see, you can go to FTP, YouTube, or straight to file copy. So that goes straight to YouTube. Okay. Uh, click on export. Uh, Windows Media Video. WMV, etc., etc. What want to export to? Any of these other formats, upgrade to the Plus, Plus and Pro. Right. View an article about exporting for file formats. Okay. Uh, so you've got all different things that you can check. So I've got the video. Uh, Windows Media 9, they've got all different variations here, um, and so on and so on. Let's have a look at the audio again. You can change things here to your heart's content. 
So, uh, let me just play this recorded earlier. Hello, everybody. Um, it's Judith T here. Yeah. Um, so you can see, I'm just Windows. starting. Pause this a minute. Uh, I turn down the volume. So if I play this again, as you can see, yeah, so my little bar is moving along, and that's the cursor I was talking about. I'm showing you. This is what I recorded before. Okay, and um, if I wanted to upload this to YouTube, I could do so. Um, let's have a look at the flow. No, it's not here. But this is the screencaster file which I've been using before. Um, and I'll probably keep using it, but I prefer using. I've only just started this this moment using this particular software. Um, so I'm going to see how well it really works. See how quickly it uploads to YouTube. Okay, so this is the Flashback Express 5 player. Um, and. Uh, oh. Hopefully this will be of use to you. Thanks very much for watching.